One. King of the runners, make some noise for the love of God. So this is the main event, big up Blunt Teddy, he organised the whole event, <coughs> it's his birthday also, so make some noise for Blunt Teddy everybody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He also happens to be the battler on my right, so I make some more noise for him again, because he's about to do a battle. Oh, yeah. And on the left, we got the one and only, yeah, man. we got the one and only Hulk Hogan, make some noise. Three sixes the whole round. Time. If you choke, it's time. Crowd reaction to judge. Rock, paper, scissors. See who goes first. One, two, three. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I went on three. I was late. The rose can't count. Oh, come on. One, one two, two, three. three. It's on you, G. Happy birthday, yeah. mate. Ready, yeah? Go on. What? Yo. So now it's Blunt Ted versus Hulk, the self-proclaimed Mr. Intelligent. But he doesn't act like that way for the hell of it. It's because without his online persona, we'd be pretty much irrelevant. And you ain't heaven sent, and you ain't intelligent or elegant enough to step to this, so that'll be the evidence of you warring with me being detriment to you getting buried in the sediment. Because this motherfucker thinks it's a hip-hop artist, but how the fuck can you call yourself an artist when your career flopped before it even started? Because if it wasn't for your battles and your shitty old life feeds, and not a single person will be seeing you. And you're like a prostitute of AIDS, and what I mean is that you're sick for the wrong reasons and not a single person will be feeling you. <laughs> and speaking of your life feeds, the first time I ever seen one, I seen this fat, hairy, cracked out motherfucker lacking in stamina. But I wasn't talking about you, you dickhead, I was talking about when your missus accidentally stepped in front of the camera. <laughs> but you knew that you fucked up that night by putting that fat old whore on the Ronald Forum, it was a stupid thing to do, bro. it wasn't very wise. Because you locked off the live feed and the next thing the footage had been deleted offline faster than the Facebook profile of Jefferson Price. Ah. But do you want to know another reason why Hulk's mother should have swallowed the semen? It's because he's got kids who need him, so you should be putting them first to be trying to battle your hidden demons. Ooh. Because, I know, I know this. Because you're a grown ass fucking man who got kids, uh, who's got kids who needs clothes on their back, food in the belly, and new shoes. But how the fuck are you supposed to give him any of that shit Hulk, when you're spending all your money on weed and booze? So that's just one of the reasons why I came here today with my bars locked in so I can bark at him. You're getting pawed again in an argument, so you and your collection of cardigan can just fuck off because you belong with your mixtape and your missus in the bargain. Oh, one time. Go on, Tim. Alright, sorry about the uh, interruptions from outside. Yo, go on. Yeah, I like fat bitches. Yes. And fat bitches like me. Why the fuck do you think? I've been inboxing your wife. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm up in Nottingham battling Lee Daniel. Another sub pass bitter to eat through. Bruv, your name is Lee Daniel. That sounds like two different people. <laughs> You're always fake exposing rappers for nothing. They're thinking Ted takes the piss. But you threatened to go around Magic Mike's house and bring crackheads to rape his kids. Ooh. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Bruv, you're the type to show up at a children's party <laughs> with nothing but a sock puppet concealing your dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and now I realise why you called yourself Ted. Because it sounds more appealing to kids. <laughs> Bruv, you ain't, you ain't super Ted. More poo. Bear shit he loves to chat. In the ends they call him crackhead yogi. <laughs> Look away for a second and your lunch is snatched. Oh. Oh. So I ain't letting him near my kids. I don't trust him. If he try to touch mine, he's getting left with a bust chin. I'll pull his hands behind him, you'll see Teddy struggling, then put the tape to his back like Teddy Ruxpin. Oh. Yes. See, it's kind of hard being around all these hipsters when your crew is a bunch of old school road kids. So to let off steam, we run trains on your bitch, but that's not a local motive. Ah. Ooh. Yo, so you go by the name Hulk, but you were nothing like that guy, because he's muscle, you're fat, so that's just one of your lives. And you're coming to the end of your career, so I'm aware that with your opponents, you need to stop being so picky, G. And stop being so scared to get bodied by the man you've been ducking for the last year who goes by the name of Ricky C. Because <laughs> <laughs> mate, that shit's just embarrassing. But it's not just that situation because it's someone you've been harassing. 
Because you've been sending you for a call, friends request after friends request after friends request, like it's going out of fashion. Yeah. And you've been hitting delete button, <laughs> not true, man. It's true. And you've been hitting delete button, delete button, delete button, and that shit hurt you inside because it felt like a part. But when I asked him, he said it's not really that deep, it's just that he didn't know who the fuck that you are. So Ricky shares me, you are not normal, so what the fuck do you do when you're bored, bro? He thinks I know, I'll jump into a women's Facebook group and ask him if they want to film a porno. Oh. And he actually did that. And that shit was creepy as fuck, and you said it was a troll, but when I read it, it looked like there was elements of truth. So the question is, you've got to ask yourself, is what the fuck is he actually getting up to when he's travelling up and down the country and with his camera, spending all of his time alone in all of those fucked up hotel rooms? But now this is where shit gets just a little more serious because you and your gun because you and your gun talk is sounding delirious and this is how weird it is. You think you're the only one that's ever fucking fired a shot, bro? That's hilarious. Because you see there's one main difference between me and you and that's that I'm smart and you're dumb. Because only God knows the shit that I've done, but you jump up on Facebook and tell everyone. But I will say this much, and that's that you might have learned to shoot on the roads, but me in the forces, so I'm real up. Cause you're just a lucky pot shot takeoff, big gangster, non beta when in reality I'm a fucking train killer. But fuck all of your gun talk, it's moist. I'd rather fight shit out with my hands. So the reason you used to carry a stick when you walked on the road is cause you was too much of a pussy on to deal with your issues like a man. Ooh. Time. Right, yo, train killer. Like it's it. So you wasted, you wasted half that round. You wasted half that round spitting bars about how I'm ducking whack dudes. If that was the case, bruv, I wouldn't be here fucking battling you. <laughs> <laughs> Who offered me the battle? Twice. Me. <laughs> oh, no. Right, let's go. Look, sorry, sorry. I don't even know why I'm here clashing you. Because you're not on a boss's level. I'm just using your shit face as clickbait because you look like a pound shot shocks the rebel. Ooh. You look like the type to beat your wife as soon as she don't put on the kettle <laughs> and drive around in a white van in a white vest looking for something to scrap. Ooh. Well, I've got the metal. Bruv, your name suits you. I must admit it. But a blunt's only any good with some substance in it. Ooh. But you got no character and no friends that matter. So in more ways than one, you're just an empty rapper. You keep getting us excited, declaring you're quitting. Hurry up and fucking do it, no one cares that you're spitting. My pen versus yours, you can't compare what we've written. It's like a standard issue versus the rarest edition. And my man is an old rapper that don't care about getting put in his place. Cause you're so fucking old, you've already, already got one foot in the grave. Woo! Fire! Like that geezer. No. One foot in the grave. Victor Melvin. Victor Melvin. Victor Melvin. So now you claim to be repping King Yo. So now you claim to be repping King of the Ronalds, right? Wrong. Because in this round, I'm going to show you all of the reasons why in this league you no longer belong. And that firstly, every time someone brings a woman to an event, you get first. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone brings a woman to an event, you get thirsty. And I don't mean flirty, I mean like you're moving like you're actually dirty. And second, you said that you never prep for your battles because there's nobody in the league that's worth writing for. But come on, bro, if you remember the staff, so you should be the first to realise that every single battle that you take is certainly worth trying for. Oi, let's go, Ted. Because think about it. Think every about time that. you turn up to a battle and you're shite, you're giving the fans of the league one more reason yeah, to Mickey. unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Un unsubscribe. And third. <laughs> and third. Shut up, Mickey, man. <laughs> And third, and third, you got caught taking the piss out of the champ behind the scenes, but I bet you were slagging us all off behind our backs. Yeah, too right. Was. <laughs> Especially you, Ted. So, <laughs> so, all right, so this is for you as well, then. No. <laughs> so, so, how the, so how the fuck are we supposed to trust the guy, guys, that can smile to your face and run off and do some fucked up shit like that? Ah, fuck's sake, man. Run off and do some fucked up shit like that. Because people are always saying that Mickey's the one holding the progress of the league, but they're all talking smack. Because from what I can see of your PR skills, you're the reason why battlers and fans come to the events a couple of times and then they never come back. Racists. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. 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 So, why, so why don't you get the fuck out of here before Mickey ends up waking up and banning you? Because you ain't helping to develop the scene, you're like a broken Polaroid camera. And I hope the fans are mad at you, and you've come to not so I can battle you, but you haven't got the stamina, so I've exposed this wasteman's character. Ooh. Time. Uh, on, yeah, yeah. Nice. Sorry, I put him off. Sorry, I put him off. Nail it, nail it. Go on, last round on the old Hulk start. Alright. So what do you know about waking up? No time to wash because the cat's in the queue on the corner. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Would you know about pulling that food out of your ass? She puts it in her mouth and you ain't even trying to warn her. Huh? Would you know about going? How was that game, bro? How was that game? Got... Nah, come on, man. He's talking bro, truth facts. Let's go, Hulk. Look, and you ain't even trying to warn her. Would you know about rolling solo, on burners and swords? You don't need no one to ride for you. Sleeping in a trap with that ting on your back in the rucksack waiting for the private caller. Mm -hmm. See, I spit fire. I don't need body bags, just straight urns. Your boy's got your back, it's cool. What your mates learn when this ting travels through your dog's stomach like a tapeworm. Oh. Oh. Hey. Let's go. Fire. Fire. Bro. And as usual, I don't prep three rounds for bums. I only freestyle most of my third round when I'm battling pricks like this. Bruv, your hat is so misshaped, <laughs> it looks like you store it under the fridge. Fridge hat. You know what? You know what? Chap holders called me shit, but after eight people no show you, I think it's time to call it quits. <laughs> Yo, and Ted. Blatantly comes across as a BMP racial bread. <laughs> and I ain't surprised. Bruv, you're, they're like 35 and you ain't got no facial hair. <laughs> Bro, I don't care. Because everything I spit is dangerous. And that fucking mole on your chin looks cancerous. Time, time, time. Make some noise! <laughs> right, if you think blunt head. It's the winner! Yeah. Make noise now! Yeah. If you've been Hulk as won, make noise now! Yeah. He did edge it. It's okay, man. But, because it's Bloodhead's birthday, <laughs> we're not calling in the loser, but make some noise for Hulk, the winner! Yeah. Yeah.